What's an easy way to check the readability level of a new client information handout that you're developing for your OT practice? I'm Claire Batkin from Your OT Tutor and I'm going to share a free resource with you that's available on the internet to help you do this quickly. So what it's called is the um, Sydney Health Literacy Lab um, Health Literacy Editor. Um, you, you can Google it and find it. I'll drop the de direct link in the comment section but you can launch the editor here. Um, I'll give you a quick demo of how it works. But what I've done is I've actually just um, found some text from a patient information handout available on the internet about um, pressure care injuries and how patients can prevent those. So if I drop it into here, what you'll see is straight away on the side here, it comes up with a readability level. So what you're aiming for is for grade eight level or lower, and you can see it's green, it's less than that, so that's good. Um, if you click on the complex language tab here, it'll process that. Um, you can see the text complexity is 17.7%, um, but what they've done is they've highlighted the offending words for you. So you can see 10 words, um, they've found some alternatives in their thesaurus that might be easier for people to understand. The 17 uncommon words, so the pink ones, they're words that um, may not be familiar to people with limited English. Um, and depending on the type of text that you've got, it may also give you some feedback on passive voice, structure, person-centered language, all those sorts of things. Um, so that's a really nice, easy way for you to just do a bit of a check. But just remember, it's not just about if the actual language itself is readable. So even if you've put together a handout and you think this looks awesome, it's ready to go, print it out, let's use it. Um, what I'd always suggest is to make sure that you do a bit of a test run with some actual clients in your workplace where you'll be using the handout. So do a graft, check it check the language level using something like this editor, but then give it to them and see, does this actually answer all their questions that they have on the topic in the first place? Um, or is there some extra information that they actually wanted covered? Um, is there too much information? Does it need some visuals? All those sorts of things are really important as well um, so that they can actually use the information in the handout. But hopefully this has been a helpful starting point for you. If you do like this video, found it helpful, then please keep following your OT tutor, like and subscribe, um, and I'll have something new for you soon. Thanks for watching.